Welcome back to the left way to play golf. I'm Ken Carpenter, PJ Teaching Professional. I want to discuss swing plane. It's not often talked about a lot, and, and it's really important to understand because think about it like this. You could have the best posture, the best grip, the best alignment in the world, but that does not mean that we're going to be able to hit the ball well. So there's other underlying factors that apply to being a better ball striker. And number one of those is swing plane. And I'll try to describe it in a simple form for you. Number one is that a golf club is designed to travel handle over head, handle over head. So think about it like this. If I threw this club through the air this way, it would travel through the air like a helicopter blade. Call that a horizontal plane. Conversely, if I took it this way, it would travel through the air handle over head, handle over head. Call that a vertical plane. Okay, and I want you to understand that there's two lines in golf. This line represents my ball line or target line. That's a line that extends to our target, also extends back here as well. This line represents our body lines. The line across our toes, our hips, our shoulders, and our eyes. So when we step to a golf ball, we are square to the golf ball. You can think of these as railroad tracks. I'm standing on one, the ball is on the other one. So when a golfer takes the club back, when our lead arm reaches parallel to the ground or 9 o'clock, we need the butt of this club pointing at our ball line about a foot and a half in back of the ball. And the reason for this, and this is really important to understand, because wherever the butt of the club is pointing, this is where the club head is going to travel on the downswing. I want to dispel this myth with everybody out there. We all blame every poor shot on what? Keep your head down, keep your eyes on the ball. So. If I pitch this club on the right plane, I could be looking at you and I'm still going to make good contact with the ball only because I have a good plane to my golf swing. And I've rehearsed this many times, which is what you need to do as well. You have to rehearse to change your feel. And think of it like this. I want the club away from you. I don't want it in close to you. This would be narrow. This would be wide. So I want it away and I want you to rehearse that first part of your takeaway so that we have the club pointing at the line and then you simply going to unwind it from that point forward. Now here's the thing in instruction. We can have four or five setup thoughts, but we can have many motion thoughts and we have to work on different parts of our swing at different times. Most important things first, swing plane is number one, sequence is number two. Okay, so when I talk about motion, we can't have more than two thoughts. So when you're, when you're thinking about what we're doing in the swing, I don't want you to have four or five, six thoughts. I only want you to have two. So let's call this, this, this would be one part. Let's work on our plane. Let's learn how to pitch the club on the right plane. Number two, maybe we're thinking about sequence. So we're going to unwind it to our finish here. And those are our two motion thoughts. Now the only clubs that get to parallel are going to be our longer ones. Driver, three wood, maybe a fairway wood, five wood. Other than that, it's going to be a little shorter parallel. Now, this is still pointing at the line just further back there, okay? Now, if I took my driver out, and it's interesting, if you look at how these lay on the ground, they lay on the ground at different pitches and different lengths, okay? So, my sand wedge is going to appear to be steeper in terms of the pitch. It's still pointing at the line. If I pull my driver away because it's longer in length, it's going to look a little flatter, okay? And that's the main thing. And that's why people struggle with their woods as opposed to their short clubs. Knowing where the butt of the club is pointing is a, is a major component in being consistent. And especially a longer club is not meant to be swung on a vertical pitch. It's meant to be swung on a more flatter pitch, okay? So you keep this in mind, especially when it comes to your woods. And this is only going to make you a better ball striker. Swing plane is very, very important. And the understanding of swing plane is what's going to make you a more consistent player.